grade 12 Euclidean geometry. We are particularly going to look at the theorem that states that opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. Right, there are six theorems that are examinable. We are going to concentrate on the third one. We have already done the first one and the fourth one. You need to subscribe on YouTube and you'll find the other ones. We've already done them. The theorem that you're concentrating on now is a theorem that states that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. Right, we're going to look at the terminology. The term cyclic quadrilateral, it means that cyclic you have a circle and a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape that is inside the circle. Now what is important about the quadrilateral is that the vertex of the quadrilateral must touch the circumference of the circle, all four vertex of the quadrilateral. And the other name is supplementary, the name that is in the theorem. Supplementary means angles that add up 208. So the theorem says that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad, meaning that angle J plus angle L are equals 208. Right, as all the other theorems, you need to know which conjectures you're going to use to prove that particular theorem. This theorem, you're going to use the theorem that states that the angle subtended by the arc at the center of the circle is double the size of the angle subtended by the same arc at the circle, on the same side of the chord as the center. Now, this theorem is a theorem that you normally use and we say angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. That's what we're going to use to prove this theorem. And then another fact that you're going to use is that angles around the point are equals to 360. So we're going to use these two factors to prove the theorem that states that uh, angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. Right, in a question paper, it might be phrased like this. In the diagram, JKLM is a cyclic quadrilateral and the circle has the center O. Prove the theorem which states that J, angle J plus angle L is equals to 180. Then you'll be given a drawing like that. Then you need to follow the steps of proving any theorem supposed to require what, what you prove and then uh, supposed to write what you are required to prove. Normally that's not a, a big problem because it comes with a question and you don't get marks for that. But it makes it easier for you to go through the proof. And you write your construction. When you don't have construction, you won't have marks. When the construction is wrong, you'll have no marks. And you need to know beforehand which theorems you're going to use to prove the theorem. Now we're going to go to the whiteboard to prove the theorem that states that angle at the, the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. Now we're on our whiteboard. We're going to prove the theorem that states that opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. So we're going to start with what we are required to prove. We are required to prove that angle J is equals to angle L, right? Construction. With this, const with this theorem, construction is very important. You must make sure that you don't cut angle L and angle J because you end up not having them. So you construct from the other angles, the other two angles that are not part of your proof. You want to join line M, O, and line O, Okay, so we're going to draw M, O, and O, K. Then we can start with the proof. Right, before we start with the proof, to make things easier for you, there are two angle O's 
call this one a O1 and that one O2. Let me start with our proof. Angle O1 is equals to 2 angle J. And the reason is angle at center is equals to 2 times angle at circumference. Right. Then you have angle O2 is equals to 2 angle L. The reason angle at center is equal to 2 times angle at circumference. Right. Then you have angle O1 plus angle O2 is equal to 360. And your reason is angles found a point. So, O1 and O2, I can add them. For O1 and O2, I have 360 is equals to, my O1 was 2J, and my O2 was 2L. So, I'll take out a common factor of 2, and if 360 is equals to 2J plus L. Then we divide both sides by 2. Then I end up with 180 is equals to J, angle J plus angle L. Then your proof is done.